I hope they, they, they're going to help you out. Um, Josh. I, I just kind of came in as a surprise speaker, but uh, I try to give you guys like the stuff that, you know, like stuff. These are pages that I've actually ran, uh, you know, and one of them I'm currently testing and they've worked out for me before. So I'm giving you like exactly the good stuff. And so the, the subject today, uh, what I'm going to talk about is basically three ways to get off the advertorial. Like the advertorial is, is cool. And, but it, there's other, I, I just kind of want to give you ideas so you can kind of like jog your creativity a little bit and you can test out other stuff because this, the way this came about was, uh, you know, I, I told you guys, I was, uh, the copywriter for this, you know, pretty big company. And one of the things they asked me to do was like, hey, can you, we don't want to be on this advertorial anymore. Can you beat it? So, <laughs> so that was like, you know, it's like every affiliate knows the, the advertorial is the, you know, that's the stuff, you know. But so I, I started testing different things. And what I found was that when you, when you, one of the most important things that I learned was that when you, when your campaign starts, stops being profitable because you ran too much volume to it, and that's like a nice problem to have. But like uh, eventually you'll get to a point where stuff stops being profitable. Uh, in this case, we didn't have an option to say, okay, let's, let's run something else. Instead, let's change the product. Uh, we had to keep selling the same product. We just had to get more creative in terms of like, uh, you know, sparking the interest again in different ways. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you like uh, three, it's, it's pretty simple, three types of landing pages that I've done that have uh, completely destroyed the advertorial. So you can try them, uh, you know, I'll walk you through them, explain how you can do them yourself. Uh, so the first, the first one I'll talk about, this is a quiz. And I don't know if you guys ever tried doing a quiz, uh, but it's super, super simple. And, and when I first started doing this, I was kind of boggled at how this converted into a sale. I was like, how is this even, like, that makes no sense. Like, it makes no sense. Uh, so this is, this is an offer that, you know, this is a, like my own, my own company that I, I did some tests on this and this, this was the, the most profitable landing page that we tested. And uh, it's, the quiz is, we're selling rings. And, you know, does your birthstone have magical powers, right? <laughs> And I'll walk you guys through it just to, to kind of like explain the mindset um, it goes. So super, you know, like we start just putting them in a certain mood and like which images appeal the most. And, and you know, you can apply this in literally anything. Um, but, the, you know, so we're just, okay, I want this. You want love, health, peace, money in your life? I want money. Uh, which quality do you value the most? You know, optimism. Which of these shapes uh, best represents you? A heart. <laughs> what mo month were you born in? May. What's your lucky number? Number seven. I prefer movies. And then, so this, you know, like the, the other ones were kind of just, you know, uh, it's, it's just making them think a little bit and just kind of like get, raising the engagement. And then we start to actually get into jewelry, which is what we were selling. Uh, so it's like wearing gems makes me feel exotic. <laughs> uh, and then that, like, that's it. This is... Then we, what we do is like we put the, the offer here and it's, they, we make them feel like we want, they want something. So um, congratulations, 
You just want, I mean, your birthstone offers you protection and you just want a free extra necklace. And then we get, below that, we give them the result. And so I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the psychology of why I think this works. And, you know, like, what we're doing here is basically engaging the customer a lot more. Like, the, the percentage of people that are completing the quiz is very, very high. It's like from, from people that's, that landed on the page to completion, it's 75%. So, so it's really, really, really high engagement. Uh, and, and, you know, we tested different quizzes. Uh, so, so what we're doing is basically, <laughs> we, we tested this in diet. It's done well in diet as well. Uh, and it, it just, a, I guess, a little disclaimer. We've tested this with guys, and it never works with guys. Like... Guys, just if you're selling to guys, uh, yeah, that's a, like, if for some reason, guys just, they will leave hateful comments on Facebook <laughs> and, and not complete the quiz. Uh, so for women, women kind of love this kind of stuff. And we, we literally doubled our, our conversion rate with a ton of volume using quizzes. So I'll show you guys how to create a quiz. It's super easy. Um, there's this website called qssr.com. It's free. Uh, so you can, you can go on and create your own quiz. And it's super simple. And, and like, you know, the, the algorithm, the, the software is pretty cool. You can actually, um, you can, customize the, the answers that anybody is going to get depending on, you know, like their... You can customize the result, the outcome is what they're call, they call it, uh, based on what anybody's answering. So, you know, if somebody is like saying that they're not interested in losing weight, then you're going to give them a different response uh, and like you, that somebody that's already saying that they want to lose weight, for example. You know, and this, so this software is amazing. Uh, we've used it to make a ton of money. So I, I really, really recommend it. And what I do, um, what I do is I basically like create the quiz and then it gives you like an embed. And then I use click funnels to embed it into a page with a, with a logo here. And it takes, literally it takes the whole thing from beginning to end takes about, I don't know, 30 minutes. Uh, the hardest part is, is really just, uh, the hardest part is, is the images. It's just like finding all these images. You do, I mean, we've, we have tested uh, no images versus images, and images uh, do way better. So, like, it, it, I mean, their layout looks, looks nice, you know, and it's kind of, it's super engaging. So, and a lot of it is because we're using, like, vibrant colors in the pictures and asking them about their personality. So, personality stuff, uh, quizzes, highly, highly recommend it. Um, and literally, it's just, uh, this, I, I, this is my go-to sometimes instead of an advertorial, because I already know this. In, in, in a lot of verticals, this will beat it consistently. Um, so yeah, that's one of them. I don't know if there's any questions regarding the quiz. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Would this be good for like, um, you know, say you're running like jewelry on like a Shopify store for women? Yeah, like that's that. would exactly what we were using. Crush it, you think, with that? Yeah. That's good. Okay, thank yeah. you. You had a question, right? So, um, you know, you're asking these various questions, and uh -huh. then they get to the end, is how much of that is sculpted to the, to the response to those questions, or do you basically ignore those, you know, that, that, that where responses don't matter that much, maybe it's just their birth date that matters? Uh, or how, how personalized do you Yeah, I mean, it depends, you know, it really depends, but, uh, 
Yeah, in this case, the birth, stone, uh, the, the birth date is really the deciding thing. Like, that's the only thing that really matters. Yeah. Um, right, and, and another thing that we did was, was just, we were literally assigning the, you give it like certain weight to the answers towards a certain outcome. Sure. And that's, uh, and we, were, we did it like the proper way. This is kind of, this one in particular is kind of like, you know, it's kind of cheating. And people were saying that in the comments, but it was still working. Uh, like, cause it was like, yeah, of course you're putting in the, you're sure. putting in the month. So that was, that was the giveaway. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, we, we do try to, we do like the full thing. We do like legit, like, uh, I mean, of course it's like a game, right? There's no, like the answers are all made up. Uh, there's no real way to know if you are a vanilla scent or whatever, you know? Yeah, but. So, but you got eight questions, and you could potentially have a lot of different combinations of of the of someone answering those eight questions. Yeah, that's. I mean, you basically are just assigning weight to the answers that matter. If, so how so how many um, res, results can you set up, so to speak? Uh, we try to set up seven. Seven. So I mean, four to seven results, depending. I mean, we've done as little as two. No, I mean at the end. How many various places can you take that person? Uh, limit? So there's just one result per person. They would have to take the quiz again. If that's no, but well, let's say this person answer was a, uh, a may, but their other responses were so different. Could you potentially set up vari various? Yeah, yeah, you can set it up that way. For this case, we didn't. Right. But usually we do. Usually, like, it would not matter. It would not be all depending on one question. You know. So you could put up, uh, is there any limit how many, you know, end, you know, places that they go to? No, you can, I, I think you can create in the dozens or even hundreds. All right. Yeah. Cool. So Thanks. there's no limitation to that. And, but at, at the end of the day, I don't think you need more than, you know, maybe a dozen or, you know, the, I, I don't know what you have in mind, but yeah, I think that about a dozen would be more than enough. And I guess. Yeah, I have a couple questions. Uh, uh, so, uh, how did this do compared to, uh, you know, the advertory? What was the performance gain? Was it like, you know, 50% better or? No, it was over 100%. Wow, okay. With a ton of volume. Uh, 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 how much is the jewelry that you're selling? Like, how much are these rings that you're selling? Are they? Oh, like, these are, are about $80. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so did, this, did this also increase your average cart value? Uh, no, no. It's no. about the same. Okay. Yeah. I mean, people are, the average card value is one item. So. It's one item? Okay, for that? Yeah. Okay. So it didn't really do any more because, I mean, if you really think about it, we're, we're telling them, get this one, we get this ring, get this gemstone, and, and so that's the one that they're getting usually. Uh, another thing that's, that's, well, actually, I'm kind of uh, skipping over one of the most important things, but the, the most important thing is is this, uh, is the structure for this. This is literally it. So uh, this is what's gonna make or break your quiz. It's the, we always wanna give them something, you know, at the end. And, I, and we've ran this before with email captures. So, and it works really, really well. So for anything physical, this is an amazing, amazing flow, like physical products and, you know, a, a lot of a lot of different types of products. Um, you would just uh, claim, you know, claim my free necklace and then do an email capture. That's that's initially how we had it, and that did really well. Actually, the email capture outperformed the this one initially. So okay, so that's that's one thing, right? Like the. This section, super, super important. You always want to have an offer there. So like for example, teeth whitening, the offer is that you're getting 75% off. Uh, you want to have something that, the, 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 I think that also the reason why this works is because it makes them feel like they earned it. Like they all of a sudden earned their free necklace. So that's what, 
That's, I think, you know, that's, <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I think that that's, that's a big part of it. It makes it a lot more real. And that's why also the email capture did, did better, because it's like you have to enter your email to claim that. It's not just, we're not just going to give it to anybody. Um, so that's one big part of it. And also, um, also this, like, we start off, uh, with, you know, we give them their assault, and then we, we give them, like, a bit of, uh, you know, like, a bit of the, their personality, and it's sort of, you know, it's, it's made up, but it's based on what they're answering. Uh, and then we, we keep, you know, the call to action. It's super important. But, but we basically transition them from their assault into into the call to action. So we say like, blah, 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 you're concerned with all aspects of the mind, you love to teach others, you consistently seek new mentors, friends, and colleagues, and then pearls are your birthstone and they align extremely well with your personality. And we're like, are you ready to find the most beautiful rings? And we started like kind of getting them into the, into the actual rings. And, to me, to be honest, it still blows my mind that this works. Uh, that's why it's so crazy. It's, it's kind of, you would, you would never think that this would outsell an advertorial, but it does, and I don't know why, I just use it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So. Uh, so, there, so we keep pretty much here, the low is the same, yeah. And the result, the result, yeah, we, and we keep, you know, like, we keep it kind of, like, short. It doesn't even have to be that long. We have tested it where I did very long, very long uh, result, and shorter is better. Uh, any questions regarding the quiz? Yeah? Have you tested this technique on other products or services? Cause yeah. It, it yeah. lends itself well, I think, to jewelry, but... Like, how would it work, say, for teeth whitening or, or, or something? For diet, it worked better than an advertorial. Okay. Yeah. So it's... Uh, and what are some of the kinds of things that you ask, like, to... to uh, like, what do, you, what do you eat? What's your breakfast? And then you put a picture of, like, an empty plate. You put a picture of, like, a, like a waffle. You put a picture of a bunch of uh, eggs and bacon and that kind of stuff. And then, like... Um, how many meals a day do you eat? You know, and then you have, you know, that just tells you their metabolism. And, yeah, it's sort of geared to their metabolism. Yeah. Can't believe I'm giving this stuff away, actually. <laughs> wait, wait, can you, can you, can you click through for us and show us where this actually goes? Like, does this go to a, uh, yeah, this like a goes, sales page or does it go right to like a Shopify this goes to the like, home page. page or... Uh, yeah, this goes to the home page. You wouldn't send them to like specifically the ring you just showed them. I in the tested picture? it and it did worse. Really? Uh, Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I tested sending them directly, but I think that the home page, it just there's a lot of pictures and it looks better, and then sending them direct, so it just didn't. It didn't. Whatever really, works, right? Yeah. Is there like a uh, software or some type of uh, uh, program that you use to put this together? Do you yeah, yeah, I just mentioned it. it. Oh, it's, okay. it's QSSR. Oh, okay. That's the one I use. Wizard. Sweet. Yeah, I have like the paid version, but the free version does, you know, it's pretty much the same. It's got a couple of things that, that you take out. But uh, yeah, that's, this, this is the one I use. Uh, okay, moving on from the quiz, everybody good? Okay, cool. So, this one I already showed it, um, but I, but I, I want to, this is actually the original for me, the original, like, this is my go-to, like, you know, with the quiz and this, this is, these two are, like, consistently outperforming any advertorial for me. Um, and this was actually, 
the one that I, that I cracked the advertorial for the first time. So I'll kind of like walk over how I build these pages. Um, yeah, so, so the way I do it is, is I, I kind of section it out um, by, uh, so I, I try to keep like, okay, so as I mentioned before, it's all under one emotional theme, right? Like it's like, you know, depending what it is, right? But so, but in each section, I try to focus on different things, different things. So the one, I'll actually use the, the I'll actually use the other one, the flashlight one. I'll kind of walk over this. So the video is the thing that's selling here the, the you know, this, this is like the biggest selling point in this section right here. So we love videos, and we're, again, targeting family in the video, like being safe, finding any intruders, uh, you know, feeling safe outdoors. This video was one of the things that we did that just added it and took it to the next level. Secure the inside of your home. Yeah? Yeah. If I produce the video, yes. We edited it. Well, no, I'm sorry. Produce is a big word. We okay. cut it. We cut it and okay. we edited it ourselves. Okay. But it was footage from all over the place. Yeah. But you, you created the video. Yeah, we created it. Uh... You know, for extreme sports. Um, what's the other one? I think there's one more. Emergency flat tires, yeah. So, you know, it's all geared to safety. Again, we're like very focused, safety, safety, safety. And now we throw in some features and the 75% off. So that's how we're focusing on, you know, uh, like the main emotion that's just driving it home. Um, now, we tested different headlines for some reason, and I've been testing this ever since. For some reason, controversial is like magical. Like using the word controversial, just like <laughs> it has some sort of magical power that makes people want to buy stuff. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, we were trying like military man uh, creates flashlight uh, to keep his family safe or whatever, but like, uh, yeah, this, this one definitely outperform it, just the controversial thing really was the winner. But again, we're just focusing, we're keeping it super clean and just focusing on a couple things, but being very specific about what we're focusing on. Because I, I showed this to someone else, a friend of mine, and he was showing me his land. The reason I bring it up is because he was showing me his versions of these landers, and uh, it, it's kind of like just all over the place, you know, and there's sort of a method to the, to the madness. Uh, yeah, so here we start kind of bringing in the family point. You, you know, like you never know when you're going to need one. Uh, and that's, you know, it's true. You always want to have some flashlights. I actually sell myself sometimes, to be honest. I have these flashlights now at home. I, I was like, I, I, went to this, uh, I went to this sort of like a festival in Vegas, and I'm like, I'm taking my flashlight with me, <laughs> which it never before would have done anything like that. But yeah, uh, so, so yeah, like we start throwing in. And also another thing to note, no calls to action here. Like, you see how there's nothing here? That's on purpose. Because we've, we've done call to action at the very top, and it just, people click through, but they don't buy. So we wanna, we wanna start putting, we wanna get them at least somewhat engaged and start putting in the calls to actions in the second thing. And this is, this is still pretty small, you know? We, this one is a link, and this one is a link, but that's it. We're not, we want to keep them moving. Um, okay, so, so here we do family, right? The most important thing, keeping your family safe, being safe, safety, safety. Uh, this one, we start getting into a little bit of like 
how indestructible it is. And we had a, we had a video, we have this video here, but uh, the video was not being watched at all because we already have a video on the top. So it was like too much. Uh, so we, we turn them into GIFs. So that's, that's like, by the way, the most amazing tip I can give you right now for these. Don't like grab the video, crop the part that, that illustrates a point and just do the, the GIF. And there's a GIF from video. I'll show you the software that I use. Let me see. Yeah, this. It's super, super awesome. And it has tons of options. You can crop it. You can, you can make it faster. You can make it slower. You can do all sorts of stuff. So, uh, I mean, you can just Google it. But this is the one I use because there's multiple search results. Easygif.com. Where was I? All right, yeah, so took the video out, put a GIF instead, outperformed it. Um, and now we start, you know, not, notice how this, calls to, uh, this call to action is a little bigger. Um, then, you know, a little bit of social proof. Uh, in this case, we wanted to make people feel you know, we want to make them feel badass. You know, it's like, yeah, like, you know, it's, it's kind of like uh, the army uses it. It's official, you know, and people just love that. Uh, so so we, we hit that there. And also we put this, <laughs> this like insane video. This, uh, I mean, this has actually got a lot of hate because uh, what I did there was, was I, uh, I found this YouTube video, I, a YouTube the most powerful flashlight in the world, <laughs> the brightest flashlight in the world. <laughs> so so the, this guy is like holding a giant thing like this, and, and it, but it, you can't really tell, so I edited it out, and it's just like, oh yeah, it's a flashlight. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, no comment about that, but... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, that worked. I mean, because I saw, the reason I did it was because, I, I'll blame it on other affiliates. Uh, <laughs> everybody was like saying, you know, the picture of the bear. I don't know if you guys saw this. Like, it was all over the place. Just like, make a bear, like blind a bear or whatever, you know. So I was like, yeah, this will blind you too. Um, yeah, so now we start getting into a little bit more calls to action. And uh, again, military. Since that worked, we're driving, them, we're driving it home. Like it's classified equipment in the military. Uh, and then I actually did this video myself. This is my tattoo. Huh? Um, I, I basically, you know, th that's, that's the advantage of actually buying the stuff that you're gonna, that you're gonna promote that you can, I, I used, the, I did a lot of stuff for ads with the flashlight. Uh, and then this part, you know, because there was no, I couldn't find anywhere where it showed how, how it's waterproof. So I just did it myself. Uh, yeah, so, you know, just driving home, like, all right, this thing is waterproof, so it's not gonna let you down in the rain and all that stuff. It's gonna make you feel safe. Um, now, uh, some testimonials that I took from the other original landing page that, that the offer had. And now, uh, and this is funny. This is funny, but we've, uh, so one of the things that I did, like for, you'll like this, uh, the, like we did a lot of uh, multivariate testing on this kind of page. And this is crazy, because like, it's the same thing. It's literally the same thing. They're both going to the same page. But people will always claim that. It will always like claim their discount, and it increases conversions. So we give them two options. Like, you can buy it now, or you can claim your 75% discount. So it makes it more real. You know, it's like, OK, I choose this option. Uh, and that's like, I don't know, it's like a weird trick, but it, it works. 
Um, actually, something that I didn't do here that I, would, I should have done uh, that would have increased conversions even more for this page, I did it on this one. Um, always, 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 always. I don't know how I missed it in the other one, but like I always put this. This, uh, we split tested with a ton of traffic in multiple pages. And this call to action at the bottom is absolutely essential for this kind of page. Actually, for any page. When they scroll down, and, uh, and you want to make sure, so for example, in the way we did it in the advertorial is I had to recode it for mobile, and I had to recode it for, um, for desktop. Because advertorials have two columns, right? So the other column gets to the bottom. That's how this came about. Because the, when you scroll in an advertorial, you go to the bottom on your phone, and you see like the column at the bottom. So it doesn't make sense. Uh, and, and, and so I, me personally, and I guess a lot of people, just kind of scroll to the bottom, and that's it. Like You're like, all right, I'm not, not interested, or I am. So this thing is like... Here it is, the offer summed up. Add it to all your pages. It, it works really, really well. This, this, uh, this created, yeah, big lifts on conversions. So, proven in every single thing that I've done it. Uh, you know, and test it on mobile, make sure that it, that it looks really nice. I guess that's, you know, side tip. Always, always look at your pages on mobile and actually for me, actually for most of the campaigns that I always run, they're always on, like, I would say 80% mobile. So it's almost like you need to be writing stuff for, you need to be, like, on your phone, checking it, how it looks, how it flows. That's a big, big part of what I do. Like, I, I'll repurpose the page to however I, I, I need to, to make sure that it makes sense. Not just, like, the desktop and it's responsive, and you just like, okay, all this stuff is there, it looks good. It's beyond that, and like the next step would be to make sure that it makes sense and that, that the calls to actions, that it's guiding them through like an experience. And, and that at the end, they're gonna be able to see something that's gonna sell, not just some bullshit links or some bullshit, I don't know, whatever it is, that was not meant to be there for the desktop version. So, so yeah. This is super important. And yeah, that's basically, in a nutshell, this, it's super short pages. These are like not that long, if you notice, but they've, you know, they've done really, really well for us. And this is, I, I, don't, I don't really do advertorials that much at the moment. I mean, I'll try them, but, uh, but I seem to do much better with this type of page. Um, yeah, so any questions about this? This is pretty clear, right? Or anybody has questions? Okay, cool. Um, moving on. So, by the way, I do all of this. Now I just use ClickFunnels for everything. So it's, it's like so easy to do. So I highly recommend it. Now, this one, <laughs> this, uh, this, Third page I want to show you, it's, it's a very, very interesting page, and I feel like I need to tell, tell you about it before I show you, because it's really ugly. It's really ugly, but uh, it's, I've, yeah, we, we ran, this page, like, literally blew through, so this page literally outperformed the other two, so it's kind of, it's ugly, but when it works, it's a bomb. It's like literally the most amazing thing ever. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I mean, this is, to be honest, it's not the best example. I can't actually show you the one that, uh, that I've seen literally generate millions of dollars uh, because it's not, it's not mine to show. I would show it, as you see, like I show my stuff. But uh, this, is like a, this is like a very, very similar version. So... This is a, an offer that we were running for coffee, and it's super ugly. So it's like, this coffee has a secret. That's where you land. 
Um, and okay, so I'll walk you through it, and then I'll explain how I came up with it. It's not a lot, so it's kind of, you guys will not believe me until you try it. But uh, okay, this coffee has a secret. You can win an all-paid trip for two to many exotic locations just by drinking it. There was once a girl who loved to drink coffee and travel the world. She and her boyfriend were obsessed with finding the best tasting coffee from all the corners of the world. During their travel, they had some of the best times of their lives and found the finest coffee in the world. So they decided that they wanted to share their experience so others could taste amazing coffee and travel to great places. So they created Abahabra Coffee, premium high-end coffee that gives you the chance to win an all-paid trip in every bag. And like, yeah. so there, you've unlocked a mystery bonus. Click on the image to claim it. That's it. Like, that is it. And um, this type of page, like, I call it, like, the, I, don't, I don't even know what to call it. It's like the story. It's a, it's a little, like, fable, I guess. This type of page, uh, um, I, I think it's very similar to, to what the quiz does, that it just creates engagement, and it walks the customer through, through like, a, a process of discovery. And, and then at the end, we want to give them something, you know, so it's the same, same thing. And the, the way I write these is basically, like, I'll just pull up a notepad uh, and, like, write eight sentences that sum up a, a, a story of how the product came about or, or you know, like, some, some sort of interesting story angle. And that's it. Like, you... And then at the end, you give them a price or something free or a discount. And yeah, like I've, I've tested this. Uh, like we launched, we launched this on a, another vertical, and it, it was like I, <laughs> I couldn't believe it, to be honest. Like I really couldn't believe it, uh, like the results. It was like how this is so retardedly simple. This is so simple. Why are people buying this? Uh, uh, but it works. So uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm actually going to test it. Yeah. What do you use as the creative that uh, lands to this? Like, like read the story or check out? Uh, I mean, this coffee has a secret was the creator for this. It's just like, the, that's it. Same, you know, like the same, same opening thing. And we tested different ones, but you know what's funny? We, we, when we were split testing, uh, it, it was like the creative sometimes didn't even make sense. Like people were, people, <laughs> we were telling people that they were going to go to a quiz, and which by the way, if you are, if you are not doing like quiz ads on Facebook, they have, they convert really well. Like you make an image, and, and give them options. Like the one image that you have, you create like a line, so it's like an imaginary button. And, and that just, like the click-through rates on those and the conversion rates on those are amazing. So if you combine it with the quiz, it's really, really good. But we were running the, the, the quiz type of thing, and it's like, take this quiz, and then we were sending them to something like this, and it would still work. Uh, we, you know, like we just had the offer pretty dialed in. Um, and we, yeah, we were like, people, people were like, where's the quiz? Where's the quiz? But they still bought, so that's. So, yeah, there's not a whole lot to this to explain. Uh, I think that, you know, the biggest thing is the, is the offer. And the, the psychology behind this is creating... Um, like a sense of, of like discovering something new. So, so we start with a little bit of intrigue and we ran 
we ran uh, another one that was that was not based on intrigue, but it was it was sort of similar in a different vertical, where it was like the the story behind the the founder of this product, and that's and that was doing really really well as well. Uh, the images, uh, yeah, the images were better to be honest. Like these images are okay. They're well, they're not very good actually, but it still worked. Uh, but the the images are obviously pretty important we in that case we the the one that you know was making millions that one uh that one was all custom pictures so that was helpful but i i, I wouldn't actually you don't have to have custom pictures obviously depending on the product but if i was going to do that for for the flashlight for example i'd be able to grab a ton of pictures from all over the place and take videos and put GIFs and try different things, but um, it basically it, it like gives them the information in baby steps and walks them through an emotional progression that does not confuse them. There's no, there's like, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to do. This is what I need to do, and then, and then you give them the offer for for going through this. Like, congratulations, here's your offer, and bye. Very simple. Can you use quiz.com to set that up? I'm sorry? Can you, can you use quiz.com to set up that No, series? no, these are not quizzes. Uh, could you, you use can, it? I mean, this, <laughs> this is like, I don't know what uh, sort of what level of coding or whatever, but you, this is, you can build this in ClickFunnels pretty easily. It's literally, this is the simplest type of page you can have. Like, it's, it's just the... This border, this you know, the section, uh, headline, image, button. That's it. It's no coding required, almost. You know, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I mean, like, what I suggest is again, it, it, what I what I mentioned before is like, do not assume anything. You know, some of this stuff like blew my mind. I was like, whoa, like, how is this? How is this even working? Uh, there's no copy. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> like, I literally came up with uh, with one of them, and like, I woke up and I'm like, typed it in in like two minutes, sent it to the designer, had it done, and killed it. It was like insane. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious. How, how did you like come up with these ideas? Or just something you thought was funny, and then just. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, no, this one, this one was actually my, my friend's idea. Like, he, he was the one that was like, let's try something like that. And I, and I built it out. So I can't take credit for this one because it's too far-fetched for me. But, it, I mean, like, I was, this is one of the smartest people that I know, actually. Like, he's, he's, he's a marketing genius. And he was the one that was like, let's try something like that. I don't know where he got it from. Uh, but, yeah. I got a question from a live streamer. Uh, what's the offer he's using for this thing? That was a question. What's the offer he's these using? These are like, uh, these are my own offers. You know, like the, the, for this one was my own offer. Okay. Yeah, we were launching a coffee company. Just doing a lot of tests. What vertical? What vertical? Coffee. Coffee. It's in the coffee vertical. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of actually selling physical products. There's just so much stuff to deal with. So I'm kind of, uh, I mean, but, but I'm, I'm like the, others, the other two, I've already done, you know, pretty well with, with affiliate stuff. And this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch it too. But I, I mean, my advice is, you know, don't knock it until you try it. They can be extremely, extremely powerful. And they can get you... They can get you in, on, you know, like, they can make you, like, more compliant without, ha that was the whole thing. We wanted to be more compliant without, uh, while being even more profitable or the same. So that's how, that's how these came about. Uh, any questions regarding this? <laughs> we tried all over the place uh, from New York, a company in New York. Yeah. 
Anything else? Uh, or regarding, you know, landing page creation process, not just about this, but in general. Yeah? Uh, on the flashlight, uh, the longer one, you had multiple links to assembly the checkout page, I assume. Um, uh huh. Is that, I get the not at the top, and there's a small one and a bigger one, I get that. As far as the overall number of them, is that something you also test as far as you have five overall links on the page, or two or six? Uh, no, we're not set on any specific amount. We just try to sprinkle them throughout. Uh, and then I, I think that I would actually, I would actually, if I was to do this again, I would probably add more of this. That's how, that's how we do it now. We add more of this because it's worked so well. So we'll put a section. No, we'll add it in this section, for example, just to keep giving them that choice. Um, but as far as links, we make all the images except for the top one. We don't always do a video. But, you know, if we're going to do something here, like an image, that's, there's no link. And then we start putting in all the images linked. And, and yeah, like a few calls to action. Don't, I mean, you don't have to overdo it. You know, a couple per section is plenty. <laughs>